Some students from Tippecanoe County are getting the chance to learn all about the Wabash. Star City News' Hannah Grace reports from the Riverbank as the county kicked off its ninth annual educational event. It is a chilly morning here on the Wabash, but nearly 90 middle schoolers, seven teachers, and 25 volunteers are ready to spend their day on the water to learn more about how the Wabash contributes to Tippecanoe County. Area schools are invited um, to come out with their sixth grade classes and investigate the Wabash River, looking at what's in it, what the water quality is, looking at the surroundings, um, and just being out in nature and actually enjoying the river. Students first learned how to work together to row a raft. Then the students made several stops along the river to learn about what is in the water. So we do water quality sessions that includes actually testing the water. We do um, freshwater mussels to where the kids get to look at the mussels, find out what the functions of the mussels are um, in the water. The students also learned how the river is maintained. We also talk to Lafayette Renew and they tell us about what the sanitation part of Lafayette Renew does and how they actually put cleaner water back into the Wabash. The Tippecanoe County Partnership for Water Quality stresses that this event would not be possible without their volunteers and sponsors. One of those sponsors is Duke Energy that had volunteers on the water today for this first session. Today I'm going to be interact with a bunch of junior high students who are learning about the Wabash River and how important it is to our environment and our local ecosystem. The Wonders on the Wabash program will continue through next week. It is still accepting volunteers and no experience is necessary. Hannah Grace, Star City News, Lafayette.